What is up, YouTube? Frost the Hobbit in here, and today we're going to do another reaction video to Death Battle. And this Death Battle is going to be War Machine versus Gen versus Genos. Genos from One Punch Man and War Machine from Marvel. If you want to check out the original video, leave a link. I'll leave a link to the description down below so you can check it out for yourselves. War Machine versus Genos. Hmm. I'm I'm way more familiar with War Machine because hey, I grew up with Marvel. I grew up with Marvel first, way before One Punch Man was one of my favorites. Still my favorites. Genos is one of my Genos is a favorite in the One Punch Man series, but I managed to know more about War Machine than Genos. So I'm not sure how this might go out because in the world of one Punch Man, you got Saitama who can one punch people to one punch any monster to death, and Tiny and uh, the terrible Tornado Terror who can kill any monster with her psychic powers. And Genos is no slouch. And in the comics, for the Marvel fans, fans see War Machine as a weak discount version of Iron Man. For well, some fans, I'm not saying all fans. As a, they think as a weak discount version of Iron Man, and they don't think Iron Man is that powerful. Oh, they could, they could not be more wrong. Iron Man and War Machine has done some insane feats, in oh, crazy insane feats. Just uh, let's just say, just don't put War Machine up against Thanos, like a certain superhero who kind of. Got him killed, and but but he's alive. But, but he's alive now. I'm looking at you, comic book six one six Captain Marvel. You know what you did. But let, but that's enough of that. So without further ado, who is gonna win this? I'm gonna have to go with War Machine. I'm I've been on a winning streak here. So without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? In three, two, one. Go. So if it lags on me, I'm sorry. Sometimes the most awesome heroes aren't born, they're made. Like they're made. Like when I got my shotgun leg. Well, at yeah, least okay. some heroes know what to do with their new abilities. Like Genos, the cyborg sidekick, yeah. of one punch man, and War Machine, best friend. I was, just, I, was weird. I, I forgot that he had a I forgot he had a shotgun for a leg. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's do this. You ever think about how if there weren't so many villains blowing up fictional places, we wouldn't have so many awesome heroes? Genos was a happy 15-year-old living a quiet life. He was 15. His family and town were obliterated by a deranged He's 19. Cyborg. Thankfully, he was saved by a scientist, and Genos had one request. Good man. He wanted to be a powerful cyborg, too. Weird. I mean, I guess he really liked how the other cyborg oh. violently murdered people. No, oh. this was a mean yeah. revenge. Yeah. Geno set out on a walkabout of justice. Justice. So it wouldn't be long until he found gonna... his match in the one and only Mosquito Girl. This oh. Bug's making me pitch a tent, and uh, not to keep her out, if you know what I mean. This was a difficult Luckily, battle for him. Hero stepped in to save the day. Understandably impressed, Genos asked yeah. Saitama to take him on as a, a slap, the slap of death. About having a sidekick, but they eventually became buds. The two were quite the dynamic duo. Genos in particular rose to fame thanks to his adoring fans. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, pretty popular with the ladies, obviously. No such luck for Baldy McPunderson, though. To yeah, improve his hero work, poor Saitama, but numerous yeah. upgrades and repairs from Dr. Kusuna. The same man who turned him into a cyborg in the first place. Mostly because he really? can't get out of a fight without something getting blasted off. He's got super durable armor over his entire body, and he can pop his limbs on and off like a friggin' lizard tail. Those are one of his upgrades in season two. Strong, able to easily defend against powerful attacks. And the metal that makes Fighting Dragon Ball Z style. To protect against stuff like acid or heat, on top of them boosting his speed and overall power. He has multiple niche upgrades as well, such as an adhesive he can spray from his heels to immobilize foes. Talk about a sticky situation, right, Wiz? Well, he only needs to use the oh, come on. he hasn't already noticed his opponents with his hyper sensors or weird cyborg eyes, which can zoom and enhance the most distant of evildoers. Dun dun. His eyes are <laughs> infrared. That law and order sensors. moment. And he can shoot a blast of blinding light. Solar flare! 
Not not what the solar flare is supposed to be, but okay. It shows laser eyes, missiles, rocket boosters, search eyes, hyper sensors. Yeah. Sort of. You didn't even mention that his arms have freaking cannons in them. These are his incinerators, powerful blasters of fire of which incinerators. the size of the resulting explosions. And slapping both arms together makes the more powerful spiral incinerator blast. Then there's his That's very cool in the anime. Ah, if only I had two shotgun legs, I could put both of them together for an ultra leg blast. Uh, how would you even aim? Oh, I mean, it's not that yeah, hard. how would you? First you lift one leg like this, and then you just lift the other one. Oh, God, I fell on my keys. Anyway, <laughs> the incredible energy of this ultra helix oh, that's the worst kind of thing. from a power core housed in his chest, which powers most of his tech. But even with so much firepower, his physical attacks are awesome, Besides what's too. taking me so long like to make these videos, I, I, my creator has a life. So hard in the teeth. His he has a life outside of the online world, so yeah. Monsters, buildings, and even mountains. By using the smallest mountain in the world as a reference, the size of the damage and the fact that he vaporized that thing makes it a feat worth 66 kilotons of TNT. Not Yeesh. Strong, Ooh. He's incredibly fast. Moving faster yes, he than is. Human eye can see. He targeted and struck this city-destroying meteor rocketing through the sky. And those big boys are no joke. What big boys? Oh, I remember. Meteors. Those things killed the dinosaurs. Well, the fact that he was able to actually hit the big boy, not just target it, means he must This have meteor was said to is sound. capable of destroying most of Z, of Z City. Getting hit with his own incinerator cannons on top of managing to withstand getting crushed by mosquitoes. Like a shit ton of them. By measuring the size of that swarm, we deduce he's being crushed by 65 trillion. Yeah. A combined weight of 358,000 tons. Please, God, let me go any way but that. While a My gosh. Bundle of bugs I'm, I don't, there's one place I don't want to be near mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. Luckily, didn't make a dent on his power core. Without I have that, a known fact you know about me. I do not like mosquitoes. Right. The power core is unfortunately the... <clears throat> core of his weakness as well oh, i was just about to do that one anyway one time genos tried to use that core to self-destruct just to kill that annoying mosquito chick now that might sound crazy to you but have you ever had to deal with 65 trillion mosquitoes all at once no I do it. and i Regardless, don't want to do it has shown time and time i don't want to deal with that. that he's a fearsome hero to contend with Yes, he is. He hasn't found his family's killer yet, but he has found a new family with Saitama and friends, and he'll keep getting stronger and stronger. Yes, he will. I will eliminate you. Stay right where you are. Yeah, I'm. If I'm fighting you, I'm not For gonna some stay young boys still. Like James Rhodes, joining the military seems the best way of making something of themselves. And really yeah. fit right in with his neck for machinery. He got tough. James Rupert Rhodes. Pilot. Eventually becoming an expert in U.S. Marines, Shield, military. Avenger, and Secret Avenger. And on one fateful mission, his helicopter was shot down. Things didn't look oh. good, but then Iron Man showed up. Turns out Rhodes wasn't the only one in trouble. Tony Stark was stranded without enough power for his suit and asked for his help. The two began an epic adventure that turned them into close friends. Oh, Rhodes stepped into the shoes of a. I didn't know about that part. Man, his younger self would be proud of. And being Tony's best bud had some perks, like taking over his Iron Man sometimes. Who wouldn't jump in? I grew up watching the Iron Man from the time, 90s, Tony from the 90s Iron Man. Suit of his very own. That's when regular old James Rhodes became And then his War his Machine. origin from Iron Man Armored Adventures and oh, Earth's yeah, Mightiest like Heroes and the I has MCU. Been years trying to find his place in the world as War Machine. The Iron Man Armored Adventures. I don't know why that got canceled. He already had tons of combat experience from the army. And or ended, who knows. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. He can do way more anyway. He is a multi-talented badass. Tony yes, he has is. Tony provided Rhodes with multiple War Machine suits throughout the years, each improving upon the one before it. Oh, and these babies are a beautiful Yeah, Tony is work. always... Just Tony got Rhodes back. Tony got Rhodes back. The specialized variation of the typical Iron Man armor, focusing more on firepower than tactics and maneuverability, clearly. Its alloy is composed of titanium and vibranium. Hey, like Captain America's shield. Which means it's both extremely durable and light enough to fly at incredible speeds. Nice. Important given the Good to know. His his iron, his suit is made of anti vibranium. Not even talking about what Rhodey fights with. His fine-tuned rides got repulsor rays and a unit beam in the chest. And did I of mention course. guns, guns, and more guns? 
get a look at that machine guns gatling guns laser guns flamethrowers this is boom's this is boomstick's favorite suit particle beams and even drain energy from opponents Ooh, i didn't know about that i read some of the comics i read most of not some but most of the comics it has one machine in it wait what <laughs> when I bought it, but I accidentally washed it with my hat. So obviously I'm how do you, wait, the gun. How do you wash a gun with your hat? That makes no sense. Today's suit includes incredible chameleon systems that allow him to not only become invisible, but intangible, bypassing scanners and phasing through walls. You know, I could really That's use a, that's a really cool stab me with a trident. It was one time and in the most dire of circumstances. Yeah, I remember that death battle. Self-destruct function he can call upon to make sure his tech doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I mean, Good. this work of art can scan for things like weird light and electromagnetic signals. But even if Rhodey doesn't see it coming, he can handle the craziest of attacks. Yes, he can. He's been thrown through a mountain with enough force to cause an earthquake. He survived getting nuked. You see the size of that crater? Compared to War Machine himself, this looks Yikes. like the explosion was over two and a half megatons of TNT. That's and a big explosion. Into orbit and out into space. Take that, Elon Musk. No, but please e me, Elon a Musk. <laughs> Sorry, not a flamethrower. <laughs> not nah, a flamethrower. You gotta, it yeah. Yeah. Ten seconds to exit the planet's orbit, and measuring the distance he's traveled, this puts him at flying speeds over Mach 620. And while he that's impressive. Speedy, Rhodey's also strong enough for his hits to be the first and last. He's lifted cars. The first and last. That's, that's impressive. So hard he destroyed a spaceship. Not to mention the fact that Tony he defeated Magma, Unitra, Storm, and Iron Man. Iron Man suits. And remember, Rhodey even acted as he Iron outsmarted Man Norman Osborn. That's impressive. Norman Osborn is a pain in the butt for Spidey and a genius. Course, so Rhodey outsmarting, outsmarting Army Norman. Hasn't exactly been the best for his mental state, which has unfortunately oh. left him with pretty drastic. Yeah, his death, and his death guilt. from Thanos kind of, kind of hit him hard. But he'll push past it to rescue his friends as well as the rest of mankind. Time and time again, Rhodey's proven that Tony isn't the only armored Avenger. Also, You're right. Did I mention the guns? Yes, you have. <laughs> yeah, that his his All death right, by the hands of Thanos really messed him up. All right, let's do this. Let's get this started. Ooh, ooh, it's an animation. Nope. Let me guess. He thinks he's the android that killed his people. Cyborg is a serious offense, young man. One more of you, huh? Come for vengeance? Of course. Ah! Yeah. Nice. All right, Jen, that's what you got. War Machine got a good start. That worked. I guess you can say that. This is why I'm more of a, I'm more of an ice user. I guess he knows. The, I guess Rhodey knows the art of DBZ fighting. What you got planned? Oh, I get it. Well, I already... It's kind of not hard to, to, to get it. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's upgrades. They kept, they kept that. They kept the Season 2 upgrades for them. Oh. Brody does have more military training. Uh-oh. But Genos is not going down. He was training with Saitama. Ooh, cloaking. I like you at the text in Japanese. Yes, he ran off. That suit was ugly anyway. Ugly. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't disrespect the War Machine suit. I think Tony Stark would have to have a word with you, Genos, calling his suit ugly. He the one who created it for his buddy. Who's gonna win this? Oh. I mean, he survived the nuke, so that's not gonna that's not gonna work on him. Yeah, he's tanking it. Yeah, that's not working. Yeah. Oh, it went. It turned red. It got serious. Unibeam. Oh. Can Rhodey survive this? I oh, am I kidding? Did he survived, but did damage. Don't talk to me. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay then, war war machine wins. Well, looks like Genos is Gino more. Genos was certainly a serious threat in the field of battle. Yes, However, he is. Rhodes held a solid advantage in many different aspects. He's had years of training in the military. I was right about the military training. Which means he's been doing this for way longer. Spurs yes. Aside, let's compare their power output. The lo he has longer experience. War Machine had longer hero experience. According to an interview with a One Punch Man manga illustrator, Elder Centipede's body measures 15 meters wide. Yeah, that was a that was a huge centipede monster. Over seven hundred meters long. The force to aside something this large would have to be over fifteen megatons of TNT. But War Machine's got the edge over that. Remember the giant rock that was the size of Manhattan? Taking the square footage of yes. Manhattan and the height of the rock, we found that the energy it would take to shatter a rock of this size comes out to over two hundred and eighty teratons wow. of TNT. Way more than Geno's knocking around the big bug. War Machine's orbit that is impressive. speed proves he's a lot quicker, too. But even if he could get a hit in, Geno's had no way to counter Rhodey's energy draining tech and ghost chameleon mode. Genos was it's certainly a powerful contender, but War Machine's overwhelming firepower and high-tech abilities were just too much for the teenage cyborg. Yeah, War Machine was on the road to victory. Oh, wow. The winner is War Machine. Congratulations, Rhodey. You won the battle. Thank you for watching this episode of Death Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can find it linked in the description below. Uh, and you can check out a link to the Death Battle card and dice game. Okay, who's win Who's coming up next? Gray! No! I, I hate that girl! I hate her! Mm. Oh my gosh, I hate her, I hate her, I hate her. From Akame Got Killed, the main villain. Um, the death Whatever her name is, I never, I never, I, I hate that woman so much because how broken she was, how many innocent people she have killed. Ugh. Ugh. This is not gonna be a fun. This is not. I can't wait for Gray to kill her in death battle. This is one death battle I'm rooting for Gray to win for. But if, but if she wins, probably some BS. Crap. Uh, well, enough. Well, enough of that. <laughs> Anywho, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little death battle reaction video of mine. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more death battles. What were your thoughts on this reaction video? Did you enjoy it? Did you think War Machine deserves the victory or Genos deserves the victory? Let me know in the comments down below. What were your thoughts on this? As always, take care. Have a great day. Be safe. And most importantly, stay frosty, my friends, and keep being awesome. He's an asshole.